Whoa. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Roddy's Rides. If you are new here, go down and hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out. We're at like 1.5 thousand subs, which is kind of crazy because we're a little bit over a year. So um, in today's episode, first thing I'm gonna do is, well, first I gotta change my mom's oil in the Ford Exploder because um, I'm on payroll. But next thing is, is um, I'm going to announce in the beginning of this video that I'm actually building the motor in my 3.7 V6 yeah! supercharged eco boot. Yeah, I have been planning on doing this for a long time and I've been kind of slacking on the content just because I don't really have the money well all the money is going towards that so I didn't really have money for other content but I've also been busy with finals so I've been kind of focused on that so a little bit of everything if that makes sense so in today's episode we're gonna go buy a new belt because now my belts even slipping even more but I've had this belt for a long time and it was also with my old motor subscribe if you're new here so you can stay caught up on the further con also we just passed Thanksgiving so that was another thing that I've been busy with I don't know why that slipped my mind but I hope you had a good holidays and let's get cranking I sure hope you updated your boater's license for driving that. I believe that. All right, now to this. We're gonna pop the hood. I have the torque, whatever bits, and we're gonna Allen keys. We're gonna pop up the two bolts of the. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> we're gonna pop up the two tensioner bolts up. I'm gonna push the tension over, retighten the. I'm just gonna show you. Why am I telling you? <laughs> Not with the crack. I'm gonna let you deal with that. Oh! <laughs> All right. Mmm. Oh, she looking sexy. Yeah, there's something about this. But so look at here. So you can see we kind of made a little gap because the there's a little ridge right here, and the tensioner was pressed up against it, so it was cockeyeing at an angle. But because of me and my dad's great engineering over here, if you come down and look. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but here, let me zoom in for you guys. But it's going to take eight years to get down there. But you see how there was a mark of where the bolt used to be, and oh, maybe. And now there's actually a gap because the bolt has scooted away. Because of the belt being stronger than the tensioner, it's pulling the tensioner right, which is causing the bar to scoot right so now there's a gap on this side so i'm going to loosen these two bolts up i'm going to push it back that way and i'll retighten that bolt and then i'll get these tightened and we should be good so i've added a lock washer if the camera will focus today on the end of this washer and hopefully it will keep the bar from moving what an angle i don't want to keep just tightening things that feels tight because with aluminum if you don't already know aluminum is a lot softer than steel or cast iron so if you keep going i mean you can keep tightening it but all of a sudden it's going to go real loose and that's what i'm usually good at so we're going to stop ourselves today now what we're about to do is so the belt is tightened and honestly you already have a lot we'll see come check this out i definitely am going to pick up a new one of these so it also helps take out the slack but honestly that looks way better like look there's a lot more surface area on there that so i don't know um, I need to buy a new pulley and that's going to give it more surface area to grab onto the belt, but you can see how easily it's slipping. I don't know. I really need to address that, but first, Tana, let's run up to the auto parts store, throw on a new belt, and we'll see if this thing makes power or is it going to blow out the seals. Let's do it. All right, so right now we're running up to the auto parts store. I ended up just yanking off the belt. I couldn't remember what size it is. I want to say it's 55 inch, but I can't really remember. We're taking the boat up to the child or the challenger store, the hardware store, so I can buy a new belt and we'll throw that on. And I guess maybe we'll do some pulls tonight or we'll do it tomorrow morning when there's sunlight. A little pull ski. Slipping on some waves. He said, I'm buckled up. I'm not. Oh, well, buckle up. All right, so we bought the new belt and I haven't showed what size it is, but I'll show that after our, I know this works. But what we're doing right now is um, the new belt is on and uh, the back part of the belt was rubbing. So we're gonna sand down the back part of this uh, lip of our whole back to hopefully see if it will clear. So, all right, watch your eyes, hold your breath. <laughs> Yeah, I'll steal this. I'm getting cancer today. All right, nah, we'll get cancer today. Technically, you never know if you don't got cancer. All right, so 
Now that I got some light on my face, now we're gonna shut the hood and see if it rubs. 50-50. Let us know down in the comments. Is it going to rub? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. S197 uh, air suspension for sale. Getting rid of this piece of shit. <laughs> well, we didn't record that, which we should have, but we went to go. We, we have made the... If that would have hit me in the face, that would have been great. Um, <laughs> We've made the assumption that it's hitting over here, so we're out, moving right. Okay. We'll drop it and start it. What are the odds? Does it rub? More than likely. Yes. Second temp. Oh yeah, I forgot what you say. I don't hear it. Come here. I don't hear anything. I, don't I think know. you're good. I don't hear it. About time. Yeah, We're so gonna go 300 mile an hour. It's a V6. We'll barely go over the speed limit. <laughs> Good. Let's go. I think this is a lot better. I think it's gonna rub. Alright, we're gonna drive up to a road a little bit closer and then I'm gonna get on it to see if the belt will slip. But the other problem is, is we've also been running into issues where I was pushing seals on the other uh, video that I actually unlisted, but we'll have a oh, there goes the charger. Um, we'll have another video hopefully here soon of stress testing the kit. So, are you ready? Yeah, hit the beach. I'm gonna try to do a little second gear. Are you ready? Wipe it off and then on the some data logs to see like maybe I'm dropping in spark even though or actually this car has been running a little uh, rich and I should be getting new spark plugs but um, I will be buying new spark plugs here soon I just need to do that <laughs> I'm gonna die alrighty ready God. let's see what it does I'm gonna watch boost this time alright Happy. We're doing fully illegal stuff yeah, in we Mexico. Got over the speed We're there. in Mexico. All right. Well, hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm pretty happy actually because with that new belt, I mean, it feels a whole lot better. There's still some tweaking I need to do, and honestly, it could be now that the belt's actually tight, maybe it needs more fuel. I don't know, because it stayed, excuse me, right around the 11.5, so I think it was rich enough. 
but uh, it could be a spark thing too. I don't know. Like, uh, like I said, <clears throat> I want to do some data logs and see if I can get it uh, to either my tuner Doug or have someone else look over it to see what they think about it. But um, I'm pretty happy with this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go down, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're new. Roddy's Rides, out of here.